Cool. Hey, Dave, how are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. So today we're going to look at how to run SQL queries in Jupyter Notebook, but right. not just that. Um, we're going to see how we can insert a Python parameter in that SQL query um, in order to really mix and match Python and SQL to get the benefits of both. That makes sense? Yep. Sounds good. So what we're going to use here within Notable is um, the package called Jinja SQL. It really enables you to um, get the query ready for you and bind the Python parameters into that SQL template. It doesn't execute the query for you. You still have to build the engine. Um, Locally for you in Notable, we do have the engine already set up. Um, so here we're going to query against a BigQuery data warehouse, but we also could do it locally using our DuckDB integration. Um, so if you do it in classic Jupyter Notebook open source, um, you would have to do that, you know, uh, SQLite engine setup, but you don't have to do that here. So we'll skip that step. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, define a Python parameter. So I'm going to use a SQL cell here in Notable very similar to what you do in Jupyter Notebook as we respect all the standards. And I'm going to define Medicare being 1,200. Having done that, now Medicare becomes a Python variable here, as you can see, Medicare is 1,200. And so that enables me to write the SQL query uh, against my BigQuery cluster here. And what I'm going to do doing so is um, selecting a bunch of columns. So I'm selecting state, and I'm just going to doing the count on state uh, on that public data set. By running this SQL cell against my BigQuery cluster, I get uh, an output. That output shows me that uh, in Texas state, there is a total number of 1,200 facilities. Now, if I want to change that Python parameter at the top and say uh, 600, I rerun that parameter so that that value is now uh, updated in the kernel in the memory state. I'm rerunning that SQL cell. And boom, I get the new uh, filtered results. Um, so we see that um, we injected correctly that new value for Medicare uh, with an SQL query and send that back to BigQuery uh, to, to give it that result. Perfect. Any question about that? Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do here as well is just show you the different type of expressions you can use uh, using Jinja SQL. The only thing you have to be careful about is really using those um, annotations here um, to insert that parameter. That's how Jinja SQL works. You can go to Jinja SQL documentation to learn more about that. Um, a fancier example here is to build like a in statement in your SQL, so like a list. So I'm, what I'm doing here is querying directly the public data set for city bike in New York. So if you have rented bike out there in the wild, you, you must have used a city bike. And what we're going to do is try to compute um, the bike, the start station, the end station, the duration of the trips, uh, when it started and when it stopped. And we're going to look at that for two stations. You have like so many stations in New York, so we want to restrict the, the data set to two stations. So what I'm going to do is build my list in Python. So station equal parentheses, those two uh, station, Great Jones Street and Sixth Avenue and West 33rd, 33th Street. I'm running that, so I'm creating that variable um, called stations. And you see it as a list of two values. Uh, you see the difference that's neat in that variable explorer is you see the actually the type of that parameter. So my Medicare was an integer, whereas my station is a, is a list here. And so now I'm just going to run this cell. It's going to take a few seconds because it's a kind of bigger data set. I'm looking also at the 2018 in terms of year. And boom, six seconds. Um, I got the results. My start station has correctly filtered only on those two values. So you can see the category, categorical um, value is only Great John Street and, and Six Ave. So yeah, that's how you're gonna mix and match Python and SQL. And uh, if you want to learn more, you can just uh, look at the Jinja SQL documentation. And uh, that's very, very useful when you try to use SQL to collect data and, and Python as well to uh, wrangle with it. Thank you.